Welcome to Let's Play 3D Dot Game Heroes! If it's not obvious, I've beaten this game already. But... I'm gonna start a new game. This game was published by Atlas, developed by From Software, and it's a throwback in the best sense of the word to the good old days of yore. Now, from mode is hard mode, really. I believe it's unlocked when you beat the game. I'm playing through on normal. And you don't even have to play as a specific character. You can actually play as just about anybody you want to play as. From here being, of course, the... I don't want to say title character, but the character most associated with being the main character of the game. Sonya is essentially a female version of From, but you can also play as a prince and princess, a couple traveling scholars, or a dragon, or Santa Claus, or a samurai. Now, a couple things to keep in mind is that you'll notice that this character is male, whereas this character is female. And you see that it says there that these characters are heroes, whereas these are prince and princess, and these are scholars. It even comes out right and tells you in parentheses down here, hero, hero, royal, royal, hero, royal. That does make a difference. A male character does one extra damage per swing than a female character. However, a female character takes one less magic point thing to cast a spell than a male. Add to that, there are three classes. Hero, Royal, and Scholar. Hero has two heart points more than normal. A Scholar has two magic points more than normal. And a Royal, a dragon is not actually a Scholar. Just thought I'd tell everybody. And a royal has one extra health and one extra mana than a regular character. Santa Funk! And there are any number of crazy characters that you can play as. A car, a shark, the legendary hero himself, the president who's gotten a uh, giant robot. A tank. And some of these start to get a little more... ridiculous. Play a ninja? <laughs> Play as a ship? Play as the king? I kind of want to play as the maid just because I think it's hilarious for a maid to be out saving the world. Bird in a cage. A fight. I'm not going to be going through all of these, obviously, but I would at least... Happy! But I would like to at least, like... The Manon! And Sackboy. Now, I would say normally, when I play through this game, I would probably play... I kind of want to play as the maid, just because I think it's hilarious. But I would usually play as the female heroine here. But today, I think I'm going to play... as Miss Naka. You see, this game has a custom editor. Not only can you pick from those, you can make your own. And yes, I am gonna be Naka. Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Naka. I'm a Naka. In the distant past, a small land called Dotnia Kingdom prospered. This peace was upheld by the six magical orbs and their six guardian sages. 
But the Dark King coveted power. He captured the sages and hid the orbs. Evil monsters besieged the kingdom, but just when hope was lost, a young man with a sacred sword arrived to rescue the six sages. Each sage empowered the youth with their orbs, and the Light Orb was formed. In the fierce battle that followed, when the youth pierced the Dark King, the Light Orb shined, trapping him inside a pulsing Dark Orb. The youth was hailed as a hero, and tales of his bravery spread. The kingdom prospered, and the story brought visitors from afar. But the tale of the brave hero faded into myth. As the kingdom lost its charm, the visitors from other lands dwindled. Where did everybody go? King Tezro launched an inquiry seeking answers. It became clear to him, people had lost interest in 2D worlds, and so... The king boldly declared... This is an age of 3D! Reform began and hope dawned on the kingdom as it upgraded to 3D! But the king's plans were interrupted by disturbing news. The Dark Orb was stolen by Fuel, a dark bishop with an evil plan. As monsters filled the fields again, the people could only pray. For the emergence of a young hero like the one of legend. And it seems we've taken a step back in time, to the time of the legendary hero. And we got a giant frickin' sword! This is the legendary sword, though. Ah, but we have to travel to the sacred grove so we can seal our sword away. Away with ye, bunny! Now, by default, the text in this game moves very, very slowly. And I'm going to be hasting it instead of letting it run at its normal speed, because, as you saw back there, it moves very, very slowly. I'm also not terribly fond of this camera angle, but that's something else that we can work on. My sword is so huge, I can damage even that which is off the screen!
It was all right. I had a weird dream, though. Oh, I said a weird dream, not a strange dream. Pay attention to what I'm saying here. No, actually, it was about uh, banana cream pies. Man, what is it this time? I just had a dream where it was. Sure thing. It's dangerous to go alone. Now we have both a sword and shield, though this is a tiny little sword, let me tell you. And now we can make our way to the to find the legendary sword with the hero of old laid aside. Just in case an event like today happened. This game is a glorious parody of or I shouldn't say parody, love letter of everything that was about the older, the, the games of the olden days. If you don't mind, I'm changing a couple things here. I'm changing the camera angle to this camera angle. It's not as dramatic of this one, but I can also see what's going on now. I'll go ahead and turn loading screen art on. I thought it was on already, but oh well. And then I'm going to up that text speed. Holy crap. All right, let's get this crap going. I mean, from the it's dangerous to go alone, but that it was still phrased. Ah, oh, crap. But that it was still phrased in a way that was... It felt natural. That the storyline is as generic as... Evil guy that was sealed away by ancient dudes. Now you, as the next dude, need to actually destroy person instead of, like... You weenie, get back here. This sword is so terrible. Holy crap. It's been a while since I've played the early game. I've forgotten how horrible this sword is. You know what? I'm not even fighting you bunnies. Fudge you bunnies. Fudge you. Up all y'alls. Not with this sword. Oh. Perhaps this is why nobody's been able to find the sword. People come in here and they just go, Nope, fudge this noise. And once you hit the, each statue three times, they hop, start hopping around a great deal. One more hit will kill them, but you have to watch the, really watch the shadow to judge where they're going to be. It's not actually super easy to tell where they're going to land. Yeah, dang it. That should be the hopper. You can swing your sword if you stand still, you attack forward, but if you attack forward and then turn up, you can swing your sword around. And that is exceedingly useful.
I am Naka. Now, this actually depends on what class you are. If you pick the hero class, then you are the legendary hero's descendant. If you pe pick the royal class, you are a prince or princess of a neighboring Kiev, uh, kingdom called Datanya or some such. And the scholar, I'm not actually sure. I haven't actually played a scholar. And, they, like, if you pick the royal class, which I was originally going to make Miss Naka here a royal class. Yay! Now we got a little fairy person following us around. Heck yeah! What was I saying? I don't know. Not important. Oh, I was go originally going to make Naka, Miss Naka a royal class, because I figured make her more well-balanced. The one heart, one magic point. But everyone addresses you accordingly. They will call you Princess Naka, and that's just weird and wrong, because Miss Naka is not a princess. So, I went ahead and made her the hero class. Now my sword right now is huge, and I can swing it around, and look how much swinging around it I can do. It still hits things, which is irritating, but that can be solved, uh, that can be solved later. However, if I take one heart damage, much like in most of the older Zelda games, if you're at full life, you shoot a beam out of your sword when you swing it. In this game, when you're at full life, your sword is huge! So, when you take one damage from anything, you have a much smaller sword. And the game gets a lot harder if you're not at full life. I do mean a lot harder. And we can go back into the castle, talk to people. Use R1 to guard with your shield. Generally helpful people. Hey, King Guy! Hey, hey, you. No, I haven't. I got it! I will save the princess. You got it, dude. I will be the hero and go out and save the world. I got this, yo. Well, fine then. I'll just go outside. You can actually even go outside here. And now you're on top. And you can see, we've been almost nowhere, so very little is on map, but marked over there to the left is indeed where our first dungeon is. So that is our goal. I'm gonna take a pit stop in town to clean up a few things, but I'll save that for next time. Until then, everyone, when we venture forth into Dotnia, a realm of 2D becoming 3D to save this land from an ancient evil.